Day 104, 1 Samuel 21 through 24. David flees from Saul. Then came David to Nob in Amalek. The priest in Ahimelech was afraid at the meeting of David and said unto him, Why art thou alone and no man with thee? And David said unto Ahimelech the priest, The king hath commanded me a business, and hath said unto me, Let no man know anything of the business whereabout I send thee, and what I have commanded thee. And I have appointed my servants to such and such a place. Now therefore, what is under thine hand? Give me five loaves of bread in mine hand, or what there is present. And the priest answered David and said, There is no common bread under mine hand. But there is hallowed bread, if the young men have kept themselves at least from women. And David answered the priest and said unto him, Of a truth women have been kept from us for about these three days, since I came out, and the vessels of the young men are holy, and the bread is in a manner common, yea, though it were sanctified this day in a vessel. So the priest gave him hallowed bread, for there was no bread there but the showbread that was taken from before the Lord to put hot bread in the day when it was taken away. Now a certain man of the servants of Saul was there that day, detained before the Lord, and his name was Doeg, an Edomite, the chiefest of the herdmen that belonged to Saul. And David said unto Ahimelech, And is there not here under thine hand spear or sword? For I have neither brought my sword nor my weapons with me, because the king's business required haste. And the priest said, The sword of Goliath the Philistine, whom thou slewest in the valley of Elah, behold, it is here, wrapped in a cloth behind the ephod. If thou wilt take that, take it, for there is no other save that here. And David said, There is none like that. Give it me. And David arose and fled that day for fear of Saul, and went to Achish the king of Gath. And the servants of Achish said unto him, Is not this David the king of the land? Did they not sing one to another of him in dances, saying, Saul has slain his thousands, and David his ten thousands? And David laid up these words in his heart, and he was sore afraid of Achish the king of Gath. And he changed his behavior before them, and feigned himself mad in their hands, and scrabbled on the doors of the gate, and let his spittle fall down upon his beard. Then said Achish unto his servants, Lo, ye see, the man is mad. Wherefore then have ye brought him to me? Have I need of madmen, that ye have brought this fellow to play the madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adullam. And when his brethren and all his father's house heard it, they went down thither to him. And every one that was in distress, and every one that was in debt, and every one that was discontented gathered themselves unto him, and he became a captain over them. And there were with him about four hundred men. And David went thence to Mizpeh of Moab. And he said unto the king of Moab, Let my father and my mother, I pray thee, come forth and be with you, till I know that God, what God will do for me. And he brought them before the king of Moab, and they dealt with him all the while that David was in the hold. And the prophet Gad said unto David, Abide not in the hold. Depart, and get thee into the land of Judah. Then David departed, and came into the forest of Harith. Saul kills the priests of Nob. When Saul heard that David was discovered, and the men that were with him, now Saul abode in Gilbeah under a tree in Ramah, having his spear in his hand, and all his servants were standing about him. Then Saul said unto his servants that stood about him, Hear now, ye Benjamites, will the son of Jesse give every one of you fields and vineyards, and make you all captains of thousands and captains of hundreds, that all of you have conspired against me, and there is none that showeth me that my son hath made a league with the son of Jesse? And there is none of you that is sorry for me, or showeth unto me that my son hath stirred up my servant against me to lie in wait, as to this day? Then answered Doeg of Edomite, which was sent over the servants of Saul, and said, I saw the son of Jesse coming to Nob, to Ahimelech the son of Ahitub. And then he inquired of the Lord of him, and gave him victuals, and gave him the sword of Goliath the Philistine. Then the king sent to call Ahimelech the priest, the son of Ahitub, and all his father's house, the priests that were in Nob, 
And they all came, all of them to the king. And Saul said, Here now, thou son of Ahitub. Then he answered, Here I am, my lord. And Saul said unto him, Why have ye conspired against me, thou and the son of Jesse, in that thou hast given him bread and a sword, and hast inquired of God for him, that he should raise against me, to lie in wait at, at this day? Then Ahimelech answered the king, and said, And who, who is so faithful among all thy servants as David, which is the king's son-in-law, and goeth at thy bidding, and is honorable in thine house? Did I then begin to inquire of God for him? Be it far from me, let not the king impute anything unto his servant, nor to all the house of my father, for thy servant knew nothing of all this, less or more. And the king said, Thou shalt surely die, Ahimelech, thou and all thy father's house. And the king said unto the footmen that stood about him, Turn, and slay the priests of the Lord, because their hand also is with David, and because they know when he fled, and did not show it to me. But the servants of the king would not put forth their hand to fall upon the priest of the Lord. And the king said to Doag, Turn thou and fall upon the priests. And Doag the Edomite turned, and he fell upon the priests, and slew on that day fourscore and five persons that did wear a linen ephod. And Nob the king of the priests smote he with the edge of the sword, both men and women, children and sucklings, and oxen and asses and sheep with the edge of the sword. And one of the sons of Ahimelech, the son of Ahitub, named Abiathar, escaped and fled after David. And Abiathar showed David that Saul had slain the Lord's priests. And David said to Abiathar, I knew it that day when Doag the Edomite was there, that he would surely tell Saul. And I have occasioned the death of all the persons of thy father's house. Abide thou with me, fear not, for he that seeketh my life seeketh thy life. But with me thou shalt be in safeguard. David in the wilderness. Then they told David, saying, Behold, the Philistines fight against Keilah, and they rob the threshing floors. Therefore David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I go and smite these Philistines? And the Lord said unto David, Go and smite the Philistines, and save Keilah. And David's men said unto him, Behold, we be afraid here in Judah. How much more then if we come to Keilah against the armies of the Philistines? Then David inquired of the Lord yet again, and the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Keilah, for I will deliver the Philistines into thine hand. So David and his men went to Keilah and fought with the Philistines and brought away their cattle and smote them with a great slaughter. So David saved the inhabitants of Keilah. And it came to pass when Abiathar the son of Ahimelech fled to David to Keilah, then he came down with an ephod in his hand. And it was told Saul that David was come to Keilah. And Saul said, God hath delivered him into mine hand, for he is shut in by entering into a town that hath gates and bars. And Saul called all the people together to war, to go down to Keilah, to besiege David and his men. And David knew that Saul secretly practiced mischief against him. And he said to Abiathar the priest, Bring hither the ephod. Then said David, O Lord God of Israel, thy servant hath certainly heard that Saul seeketh to come to Keilah to destroy the city for my sake. Will the men of Keilah deliver me up into his hand? Will Saul come down as thy servant hath heard? O Lord of Israel, God of Israel, I please, I beseech thee, tell thy servant. And the Lord said, He will come down. Then said David, Will the men of Keilah deliver me and my men into the hand of Saul? And the Lord said, they will deliver thee up. Then David and his men, which were about six hundred, arose and departed out of Keilah, and went whithersoever they could go. And it was told Saul that David was escaped from Keilah, and he forbore to go forth. And David abode in the wilderness, in strongholds, and remained in a mountain in the wilderness of Ziph. And Saul sought him every day, but God delivered him not into his hand. And David saw that Saul was come out to seek his life, and David was in the, in the wilderness of Ziph in a wood. And Jonathan, Saul's son, arose, and went to David into the wood, and strengthened his hand in God. And he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel, and I shall be next unto thee, and that also Saul my father knoweth. And they too made a covenant before the Lord. And David abode in the wood, 
And Jonathan went to his house. Then came up the Ziphites to Saul and Gabeah, saying, Doth not David hide himself with us in strongholds in the wood, in the hill of Halkalah, which is on the south of Jeshimon? Now therefore, O king, come down according to all the desire of thy soul to come down, and our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Saul said, Blessed be ye of the Lord, for ye have compassion on me. Go, I pray you, prepare yet, and know, and see his place where his haunt is. And who hath seen him there? For it is told me that he dealeth very subtly. See therefore, and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hideth himself, <clears throat> and come ye again to me with the certainty. And I will go with you, and it shall come to pass. If he be in the land, <clears throat> then I will search him out throughout all the thousands of Judah. And they rose and went to Ziph before Saul. But David and his men were in the wilderness of Moan, in the plain of the south of Jeshimon. Saul also and his men went to seek him. And they told David, Wherefore he came down into a rock and abode in the wilderness of Maon. And when Saul heard that, he pursued after David in the wilderness of Maon. And Saul went on this side of the mountain, and David and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made haste to get away for fear of Saul. For Saul and his men compassed David, and his men round about to take them. But there came a messenger unto Saul, saying, Haste thee, and come, for the Philistines have invaded the land. Wherefore Saul returned from pursuing after David, and went against the Philistines. Wherefore they called the place Selah Hamah Lakoth. And David went up from thence, and dwelt in strongholds at Engedi. David spares Saul at Engedi, and it came to pass when Saul was returned from following the Philistines that it was told him, saying, Behold, David is in the wilderness of Engedi. Then Saul took three thousand men out of all Israel and went to seek David and his men upon the rocks of the wild goats, and he came to the sheep coats by the way, where was a cave, and Saul went to cover his feet, and David and his men remained in the sides of the cave. And the men of David said unto him, Behold the day of which the Lord said unto thee, Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good unto thee. Then David arose and cut off the skirt of Saul's robe privily. And it came to pass afterward that David's heart smote him, because he had cut off Saul's skirt. And he said unto his men, The Lord forbid that I should do this thing unto my master, the Lord's anointed to stretch forth mine hand against him, seeing he is at the anointed of the Lord. So David stayed his servants with these words, and suffered them not to rise against Saul. But Saul rose up out of the cave and went on his way. David also arose afterward and went out of the cave and cried after Saul, saying, My Lord, the king. And when Saul looked behind him, David stooped with his face to the earth and bowed himself. And David said to Saul, Wherefore hearest thou men's words, saying, Behold, David seeketh thy hurt? Behold, this day thine eyes have seen how that the Lord hath delivered thee today into mine hand into the cave, and some bade me kill thee. But mine eyes spared thee, and I said, I will not put forth mine hand against my Lord, for he is the Lord's anointed. Moreover, my father, see, yea, see the skirt of the robe in my hand, for in that I cut off the skirt of thy robe, and killed thee not. Know thou, and see that there is neither evil nor transgression in mine hand, and I have not sinned against thee. Yet thou huntest my soul to take it. The Lord judge between me and thee, and the Lord avenge me of thee, but mine hand shall not be upon thee. As saith the proverb of the ancients, Wickedness proceedeth from the wicked, but mine hand shall not be upon thee. After whom is the king of Israel come out? After whom dost thou, thou pursue? After a dead dog, after a flea? The Lord therefore be judge, and judge between me and thee, and see, and plead my case, and deliver me out of thine hand. And it came to pass, when David had made an end of speaking these words unto Saul, that Saul said, Is this thy voice, my son David? And Saul lifted up his voice and wept. And he said to David, Thou art more righteous than I, for thou hast rewarded me good, whereas I have rewarded thee evil. 
and thou hast showed this day how that thou hast dealt with with me. Forasmuch as when the Lord had delivered me into thine hand, thou killest me not. For if a man find his enemy, will he let him go well away? Wherefore the Lord reward thee good for that hast thou, hast thou done unto me this day. And now, behold, I know well that thou shalt surely be king, and that the kingdom of Israel shall be established in thine hand. Swear now, therefore, unto me by the Lord, that thou wilt not cut off my seed after me, and that thou wilt not destroy my name out of my father's house. And David sware unto Saul, and Saul went home, but David and his men gat them up unto the hold.